everybody from the Universal Studios King Kong parking garage. Um, today we're going to head over to Studios to do some updates that we have in both parks and uh, I believe one on City Walk. Um, before we get started, if you'd please smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification, we would greatly appreciate the support to our channel. Let's go check this out. <laughs> Upon entering City Walk, one thing I want to bring to everybody's attention check out the crowd levels right now. There is barely anybody. Like, it's kind of deserted compared to how it's been lately for spring break. And the other thing I want to bring to everyone's attention check out how beautiful it is outside today. It's supposed to be a high of 90 today, I believe. What a great day. Up here we have the new Universal Studios store here on City Walk. If you'd like a uh, store tour of that, uh, check out our, one of our latest videos we have on our YouTube channel and you'll get an in-depth view of the uh, new Universal Studios store. But for our first update we're going to have, we're going to head on over to the Universal Studios Legacy Store. Okay, so let's head on into the Legacy Store. I see our first update as soon as we walk in right here. That's this new mold machine here. So for $6, you can get a Universal Studios retro mold of the Jaws from the Jaws attraction ride. Like that is a really, really cool. Like check out the old pictures. You got Bruce here, which is down for refurbishment right now. And you got some pictures from the original attraction. So these are $6. Your mold will come out right here and be dispensed through right here. A pretty cool, cool take home. Check out the crowd levels here after we left the uh, Legacy store. Like there's barely anyone. Look at the beautiful view though. Absolutely love it. Looking at the Universal Studios globe will never get old. Another bit of information we have Universal Studios Mardi Gras got extended to May 2nd. So we got a few more weeks of Mardi Gras. So if you have any of those tasting lanyards, there'll be a good time to use them, but keep in mind, they do not expire. A bit of more information we have. Our Orlando Informer is now doing another meetup on December 10th and 11th, and tickets are going on sale April 16th. So that's another great opportunity, and VelociCoaster will be open by then. So that's a great opportunity for everybody to meet up, enjoy all the great foods, the butter beer, and to be able to get on the VelociCoaster. It's just perfect timing. I know that for the Orlando Informer meeting coming in uh, June, VelociCoaster will not be open yet, but for this December one, it will be. Perfect. Thank you. Wow, well, crowd levels aren't too bad in the main hub area right here yet doesn't look too bad. I think we want to head on into the uh, Universal Studios main store over here on the left for our next little little update if you will. So another little update we have they have new facial coverings here at Universal. They have this new Popeye one. Right underneath that one, we have a new Hello Kitty one. And over here on the other side, we have a new Betty Boop. So we have Popeye, Betty Boop, and Hello Kitty new facial coverings. Remember, these are $8 each, or they're 3 for 20 We'll also have an update on the uh, face mask picture policy once we get out of the Universal Studios store. So the other bit of information regarding the picture policy here at Universal Studios, they're kind of doing like Disney is doing right now. You still have to wear your facial covering, but if you're off to the side and stationary, you can remove your mask to take a quick picture. I know a lot of people will be really excited for that because you won't have your mask in your picture. It's one step of getting back to normal a little bit, so I'm kind of really excited for that update. Um, right in front of us, I'm going to go over really quick some of the uh, ride times that we have. Okay, we got Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster, 20 minutes. Shrek 4D, 80 minutes. Uh, Hogwarts Express King Cross Station, 
Uh, Gringotts, 75. Fast and Furious, 35. Celestina Warbeck and the Banshees comes on at 3.30. Revenge of the Mummy, 30 minutes. And King's Cross was 90 minutes. Oh, good, good. I, I missed that, actually. Thank you, honey. E.T. Adventure, 35. Rip Ride Rocket, 35. That's not bad at all. Despicable Me is 40 only. You see, yeah, Despicable Me is only 40 minutes. That's usually a really good indication of how, the, how busy the park is going to be. It doesn't seem too bad at all. One of my favorite stores here at Universal Studios, Williams of Hollywood, is currently closed. This is the uh, prop shop here at Universal Studios. I believe they're only open on the weekends right now. Until 4. Yes, until 4 p.m. And of course, we still have Mardi Gras. We're having a Bart Simpson character meet and greet right here. Universal Studios or bust. <laughs> so beautiful outside today. There's Transformers 3D. Such a great ride. Oh, check this out. We have a little band coming here for Mardi Gras. How cool is this? Our next bit of information we're going to have is going to be in here, in Diagon Alley. Let's just take a minute really quick to take all this in. Oh, it still feels like the first time every time I come in here. I absolutely love it. So for our next bit of information, we have to go into Ollivander's. We're just in the line here waiting to get into Ollivander's. Check out the Monster Book of Monsters. Like, I love this window here. So neat. It's definitely worth taking a moment to check out the theming in some of these uh, Harry Potter uh, store windows. Very cool. At the Flourish and Blotts store window here in Diagon Alley, they have the uh, Gilderoy Lockhart book, Magical Me. And they have a bunch of copies right here. Like this theming is so cool as well. Our other update that we have. Oh, you're okay is the new Harry Potter Collector's 2021 wand for $70. You can also get the stand underneath it. I believe they're $35. A very cool collector's item. So you can get the new collector's edition wand for $70. That's the new 2021. And you can get a stand that holds it for $35. I couldn't get a great view of it because the store was very congested, but hopefully it came through okay. Let's stop really quick and get some ice cream over here at Hagen dazs It just opened up recently on the Universal Studios side. We'll go in and check it out. Well, it looks like we struck out at Hagen dazs They're closed for the day. We're gonna have to go ahead and find a different treat elsewhere here. Well, that was settled quickly. We're gonna head on into Mel's, do dinner, because they also have milkshakes that you can get with your meal. So as always, dinner at Mel's was very good. Uh, Brandy went with the uh, cheeseburger, and I had the chicken sandwich and vanilla milkshake. And Brandy had the... What kind of thing did you get, huh? Root beer flow. Yep, she got a root beer flow. That was very good as well. So our last bit of information we have is on the uh, Jurassic World Velocicoaster. That is now set to open on June 10th. 
I know everybody's super excited about that attraction. So June 10th, the Velocicoaster will be open. I think that all about do it for our updates today at Universal Studios. Please subscribe if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and as always, make today awesome.